Chapter 1 Cell The Structural and Functional Unit of Life Type 1 and 2 Diabetes The human body is made of millions and millions of cells. All these cells need energy to perform activities. This energy we get through glucose. But too much glucose in the blood is called as diabetes and it can cause serious health problems. There are two types of chronic diabetic conditions, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. During food digestion, carbohydrates or carbs break down into glucose which is carried by the bloodstream to various organs of the body. Insulin is a hormone produced by beta cells of the pancreas and is necessary for glucose intake by target cells. In healthy people, beta cells of the pancreas produce insulin. Insulin binds to its receptor on target cells and induces glucose intake. See here carefully how insulin acts as a key to unlock cells for glucose to enter and deliver energy. In type 1 diabetes, beta cells of the pancreas are destroyed by the immune system by mistake. The reason why this happens is unclear, but genetic factors are believed to play a major role. Insulin production is reduced, less insulin binds to its receptor on target cells, less glucose is taken into the cells, more glucose stays in the blood. Type 1 diabetes is normally managed with insulin injection. Type 1 diabetics are therefore insulin dependent. Now we come to type 2 diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces enough insulin, but something goes wrong either with receptor binding or insulin signaling inside the target cells. The cells are not responsive to insulin and therefore cannot import glucose. Glucose stays in the blood. In other words, type 2 diabetics are insulin resistant. Overweight, sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise, an unhealthy diet are the major causes for diabetes. A family history of diabetes significantly increases your risk of developing diabetes. Most noticeable symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination leading to thirst and increased liquid intake. Other symptoms include weakness and drowsiness and a blurred vision. It is important to catch diabetes early. Over time, high blood glucose damages the blood vessels, which can damage the organs which these vessels supply, leading to a variety of health complications. Damage to the small and micro blood vessels can cause vision problems, including loss of sight and nerve damage and kidney disease. Damage to the larger and macro blood vessels can lead to cardiovascular complications such as heart disease, stroke and poor blood circulation. Cells, a basic study in biology. You have already read about cells in some detail in class 9th. However, it is necessary to refresh your knowledge for a proper understanding of several aspects of biology which specially constitute the class 10 syllabus. Some of the main points about cells are as follows. All living beings are made up of cells. The cell is the structural and functional unit of the body. All cells are basically alike in chemical composition and metabolic processes. All living beings arise from a pre-existing cell. Cells, how numerous? Larger in organism, greater the number of cells in its body. All living things are made up of microscopic cells. Some living things are formed of just one cell, like the bacteria and amoeba, 
while large plants and animals are composed of billions of cells. Unicellular organisms Living organisms made up of only a single cell are called unicellular organisms. Examples are amoeba, paramecium, bacteria, chlamydomonas. Multicellular organisms Majority of living organisms are made up of millions or billions of cells and are called multicellular organisms. Examples are ballworts, rose, mosquito, mango, humans, etc. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Size of cells. Cells are very small and are seen only with a microscope. Smallest cells are that of the bacteria, 0.3 to 5.01 micrometers. Red blood cells, about 7 micrometer in the human body, etc. Longest cells are the nerve cells. Imagine a nerve cell extending from your fingertip up to the spinal cord inside your backbone. Largest cells are the bird's eggs, actually the central yellow sphere. Ostrich egg, before development begins in it, is the largest single cell of the living world today. The white, that is the albumin of the egg, and the eggshell are extra parts added on to the actual egg as it passes down the reproductive tract. An average-sized adult human is composed of approximately 1,000 million million cells in the whole body. 10,000 million nerve cells in the brain cortex. 25 million red blood cells. 30,000 million white blood cells. Now that's a lot of cells. Different shapes of cells. Cells vary greatly in shape. Have a look at the figure. These may be disc-like, polygonal, rectangular, cuboid, thread-like, branched, or even irregular. These shapes of cells are often related to the different functions they perform. Human red blood cells are circular and biconcave to pass through narrow capillaries and transport oxygen. White blood cells are amoeboid, that is amoeba-like movement with pseudopodia that can squeeze through capillary walls. Nerve cells are long to conduct impulse from distant parts of the body to the brain and vice versa. Muscle cells are long and contractile to pull or squeeze the parts. Guard cells of stomatal pore in the leaves are bean-shaped to open and close the pore. Gross structure of cell, the three essential parts. 1. Cell membrane or plasma membrane encircles the cell. It is a living membrane having fine pores. It is semi-permeable, also called selectively permeable or differently permeable, meaning that it allows only certain substances to pass through while preventing others. In a plant cell, an additional outermost non-living layer called the cell wall surrounds the cell membrane. The cell wall is mostly made up of cellulose. It gives a definite shape and rigidity to the cell. It is freely permeable, allowing substances in solution to enter and leave the cell without hindrance. Cytoplasm, Cytoplasm is the part of the cell which is inside the cell membrane and outside the nucleus. It is a semi-liquid substance. 
Many chemical reactions catalyzed by enzymes occur in it. It contains several organelles, each concerned with a specific function. The part of the cytoplasm other than the organelles, mitochondria, etc., is called cytosol, which constitutes mainly the liquid medium, nucleus. Nucleus is a large spherical body lying nearly in the center of the cytoplasm. It is surrounded by a double-layered nuclear membrane with nuclear pores. The ground substance of the nucleus is a semi-solid substance called nucleoplasm containing one or more round-shaped nucleoli. Its singular is nucleolus. The nucleoplasm contains a network of dark-colored fibers called chromatin fibers. These chromatin fibers condense into short, thick chromosomes, as seen in the figure, during cell division. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें।